Hey guys, so the next um, sniff session is on fruity, um, the category fruity, citrus, and floral. Um, so we're going to start out with fruity. The first, I'm sorry, I'm like running to get dinner cooked and then we're coming back while dinner's simmering and you know. <laughs> but I want to make all these videos in one sitting because um, I know a lot of people are really curious as to what they smell like and if they're good or not. Um, which mostly everything in Scentsy is good. I, I love pretty much 90, 95 to 98% of every smell that I smell with Scentsy. Um, but a lot of people have never tried Scentsy and I cannot get out to all of you and let you sniff through these. Um, when I move back home to Alabama, I will do that regularly. So, um, Let's get started. So first is apricot vanilla. I like it. It's it's definitely a fresh and it gives like almost a, a perfumey smell at the end. Like the last note is like perfumey. I really like that. I, I'm not really big on apricot, apricot. I don't really know how to say it. But I'm actually gonna give this one a nine and say that it would be one that I would buy. Um, I really like the um, perfume and cologne smells, so this one is very faint, but the end note is smells like perfumey, so I like that. So I give this one an, a 9. Um, this one says heirloom peach, maybe it's the peach, heirloom peach, apricot, and vanilla ice cream tempt fate and everyone else, one of Heidi's favorites. I don't know who Heidi is. She may be, she may be the creator of Scentsy, but I love that. That's nice. And that one was apricot vanilla. Next we have berry fairy, fairy tale, berry fairy tale. <laughs> Sorry. This one's just real berry to me. I like it. I give it an eight. Um, it's missing something for me. This, if you like berries, this would be great for you. I'm not really crazy about berries, but this one's a pretty good one. Um, this is Berry Fairy Tale, and its sweet dreams are made of pineapple slices, star apple, and raspberry. It's good. I give it probably like an eight. So next we have black raspberry, black raspberry vanilla, which is the one that I got um, with my kit, my um, reinstatement kit. I got a full bar of this and I love it. I give this one a nine. It's, a, it's like a classic one, I believe. I think it's been, I think it's been out a while. Yeah, it says bestseller. Um, this one says delicious sun sweetened dark berries warmed with vanilla. And I really like that. It's like a classic fragrance, but it's good enough to be a nine to me. <laughs> so next we're going to Go Go Mango, um, which is one that is I never had like I I don't remember this being out back when I sold Scentsy before but I really love this one this one is so good I don't know why this one doesn't say bestseller because Go Go Mango it smells so mango-y but it also has like a perfumey scent at the end to me Oh, I love that. And I'm not big on like fruity scents, but Go Go Mango is one. I give it a 10. I like Go Go Mango a lot. And I would like to get the body washes and like um, body washes and lotions and bath bombs and bath soaks. And that comes in that, I believe. So I'll probably end up getting those. Um, I give that one a 10. And it says juicy mango and melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. I bet the hibiscus is what I'm smelling that smells like perfume. I really like the smell of hibiscus. Um, next we have honey pear cider. This one's good. I don't get much of a, a cider smell. I get a lot of pear. Uh, I do like the smell of pear. This one's good. I give it like an eight because it's, it's kind of faint. Um, but yeah, I give it an 8, and Scentsy says, The scent of pure autumn bliss, fresh, juicy pear, 
and sweet honey together with subtle hints of spices. So I do like the smell of honey and I like pear, so that's probably why I like it. I give it an eight because it's not strong enough for me, but it's good. Next is Perfectly Pomegranate and it says it's a bestseller. It's just really, it's just really one note there. It's just pomegranate. Um, I give that one like a seven. It says dark and juicy pomegranate with a sweet berry finish. This is a classic. Um, this is a bestseller. Um, I give it like a seven. I, I think it's okay, but it's not something that I'm like crazy over. This next one, um, is prickly pear and agave. <sighs> this one is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I love prickly pear anything. And agave, oh, so good. This one smells so fresh and so good. I give this one a 10. Um, it reminds me, like out here in Texas, you can get like prickly pear jam and stuff so it's just a really fresh fragrance I really really like this one I give this one a 10 and it's really good for like a bathroom scent like it smells like fresh and clean so or like even kind of like a body wash this one is prickly pear and agave are sweet as a desert sunset behind a dreamy veil of sheer petals so that one's a 10 for me, prickly pear and agave. If you guys like fresh, um, fruity-ish scents, that one's really good. Um, the next we have sea salt and avocado. My friend Samantha was like, sea salt and avocado, what's that supposed to smell like? Cause neither one, I mean, I guess like the beach, the salty, but. But <laughs> this one definitely has a distinct smell. This smells like oranges and the beach. Um, sea salt and avocado says you do you while pink sea salt Valencia orange and creamy avocado keep you keep your spirit in flight. I really like this one. I give it a nine. Um, it's definitely a different fragrance something I've never smelled before but I give this one a nine. It's a good one. I'm, I'm definitely gonna try it out and warm it. Um, next we have snowberry. I love snowberry. Snowberry smells like, again, the snow smell that I love so much. And it smells like really festive, like Christmas and snow and berries. Oh, I love this one. This one's definitely, snowberry is a 10 in my book. Um, if you want a good Christmas wintry fragrance that's, um, that's also like a fresh fragrance, Snowberry is my jam. Um, Snowberry says luscious blend of loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and cinnamon. Snowberry's a 10. Okay. Um, <laughs> I love that one. That one's like, I'm going to order it next, next shipment. I'm ordering that. Um, next is Berry Mary Cranberry. We've already done this one, I think, in the other um, categories. It's, it's really cranberry. It's good. I like, I think I like it more than normal cranberry because it has, um, different stuff in it. It has, um, lush red winter berries pop against a backdrop of snow covered cedar, creating a lovely winter landscape. So I think the cedar makes it good for me. I don't really like cranberry by itself. Um, but if it's mixed together with other stuff, I really like it. So I give that one like a nine, I believe. Um, next we have winter berry apple tea. This one, I love this one. Winter tea cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. And I love honey and apple, and I love the smell of like just brewed tea. I love to make tea just instant tea anything I just love that smell you can definitely get all the notes oh, that one's 
that one's really nice. This one, um, it kind of is a fruity. Um, you get a little bit of kind of a wintery smell to it, but it's mostly like, like a nice, like, um, tea smell. Maybe even kind of like close to like hibiscus tea. Um, and I really like hibiscus tea, so <laughs> maybe that's why I like this so much. But I give this one, um, I give this one a nine and it's almost a 10, but I really like this one. So that was our fruity. Now we're going to go to citrus, which is, I don't know, a different category. I thought fruity, citrus and fruity should probably go together in my book, but this one is, um, Blue Grotto. A lot of people love this. I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. I give it like a six. Um, a lot of people get that one. It says run away with fresh tropical notes, sweet citrus and lush botanicals. Um, maybe it's just too citrusy for me. Uh, I like it. It's just not a favorite. It's, I give it like a six. I don't hate it, but I don't want that going through my house all the time. Um, so that was Blue Grotto. Next we have Coconut Lemongrass. This reminds me, I forgot what the place is called in Dothan or Dothan area that has like the Pioneer Village and horses and they had like fresh lemongrass tree like bushes and we'd go like they they would take us on a little tour and you crush the lemongrass little things in your fingers smell. This is nostalgic for me. <laughs> Coconut lemongrass. I love the smell of lemongrass and that brought me back to like my fourth grade year when we went on a field trip. Oh, it smells good. I like that a lot. This one is also a bestseller. I give this one a nine. I like that. It's very fresh, very lemongrass. You get like a scent of coconut, like a small hint of coconut, but it's mostly lemongrass. Um, the next we have grapefruit and grenadine. Yeah, we've had this one in the um, in the new collection I just showed you in the earlier video. If you like grapefruit, this one's for you, but I'm not crazy about grapefruit. Now let me go back to the coconut lemongrass. Um, I forgot to read the description. Coconut lemongrass was creamy tropical co coconut and sunny bright lemongrass, which I got mostly lemongrass and a little bit of coconut scent in that one. The next one was grapefruit grenadine. Um, if you like grapefruit, this is perfect for you. I'm not a big on grapefruit. Um, it's okay, but I don't care for it too much. Um, next is Sunkiss. I give this one. And this description says splashes of sparkling grapefruit and juicy pomegranate are garnished with zesty orange peel in the ultimate merry mocktail. Um, not crazy about it. I don't even know what I scored it in the last video. I won't be buying it. If you like grapefruit, this would be your jam. Um, next is Sunkissed Citrus. I smell rosemary. Mm, that, I don't like that at all. This one's also a bestseller. I don't know why, but... Uh, I'm not crazy about it at all. I give it like a three if that. I don't, I'm not fond of it at all. Lively blend of oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits. And that sun-kissed citrus. Don't care for it. No. Oh God, it smells like, like pizza spices and citrus. Sorry, anybody's walking around. My, I'm shaking. Ah. Sorry. Okay. And last, this is that that was the citrus four. The last four I did was in the citrus. Um, and now we have only one in the floral section. And it's Luna. And Luna is a classic. Luna was sold, like I said, nine years ago when I sold Scentsy. When I was like 19, Luna was one of the classic fragrances that's been out for nine years and it's still in the running. I love Luna. It's the best seller. It smells like 
like a fresh men's cologne and a fresh women's cologne combined into one. <laughs> I don't know how, how to explain it, but it has like, um, I guess because it has the sweet pea and sandalwood. Sweet pea is a, like a normal women's fragrance for perfume and I kind of got that right on the money and sandalwood's a normal men's fragrance for perfume. So white florals, jasmine, sweet pea, and freesia. Those are all the women-ish women scents. Juicy berries and sandalwood shimmer like moonlight. And the sandalwood would definitely be a men's kind of scent. So it's like the best of both worlds combined into one. It would be great for like um, your household, be great for bathrooms. Um, this is the perfect like men and women's cologne that it's mixed, kind of like a unisex cologne almost. Um, so that was fruity, citrus, and floral. Next two videos, I'm going to do fresh and then I'll do woods along with the Disney scents. So the woods and the Disney scents will be together um, just because there's not as many woods as there is fresh. So I'm just going to throw the Disney in there with the woods. So um, stay tuned if you want to see the next video. Thanks guys.